for all things great iron and hard top. It's Kevlu and Steve since the sandbox. What's up, Since the Sandbox fans? Your favorite host is back, Steve from Since the Sandbox. Another YouTube episode, another podcast rundown. You guys know the deal. It was a crazy weekend in the NFL, but we'll debrief that a little bit later today. We're going to jump to our second group of our positional top 10 rankings. So today we're coming in ranking our cornerbacks from 10 to 1. But also what we're doing today is we're starting our Meet the People series with Joe Ruggiero. Going to be happening in about an hour or so. Going to pick him up. we got some taxi shuttle service going on uh, with all the snow and not having a parking spot. But let's jump in with the positional top 10 rankings. Here at 10, Christian Fulton from the Tennessee Titans. We saw him playing last week. Um, I was thinking the Titans were still going to be the, be in the championship game. That's not the case. Christian Fulton did play good for a very young cornerback. Here at 9, Eric Stokes from Green Bay. This was one of the later round picks. Um, later first round picks in the NFL of this past draft. Uh, the Green Bay Packers are, are absolutely loaded at the cornerback position. Jair Alexander, Kevin King, uh, just to name a few, along with Eric Stokes. He played really well, and that defense doesn't play as good without Eric Stokes. At eight, another rookie cornerback. Guys, the rookies are all over here. This list is full of young names. At eight, Patrick Sertain of the Denver Broncos. Pat Sertain played really good this year, and I do view him as a lockdown corner. J.C. Horn, another credit. He's not on this list because he did get hurt early in the season, but J.C. Horn is a great player for the Carolina Panthers, no doubt. Here at 7, Xavier Howard from Miami. Now look, Miami re recently uh, got rid of Flores. We know that. Their defense was pretty strong, though. I know they got Byron Jones over from the Cowboys in their backfield, in the defensive backfield. Um... And I was really surprised by the Flores move, but Xavier Howard here at 7, one of the highest paid corners in the game. At 6, James Bradbury, the New York Giant from Carolina. We know James, Barry, James Bradbury is a lockdown corner. Very good at what he does, can play zone, can play man, can go and get the ball. He's a ball hawk. Um, one of the bright, one of the very small bright highlights of the New York Giants defense. Here at 5, guys, 5. I have Marshawn Lattimore, and Lattimore, you could say, isn't one of the top five corners in the league. I'm going to sit here and argue that he is, and the Saints team that he's been playing on the past couple of years wasn't as good as the Saints team um, when he first came into the NFL, so I think we need to take that into consideration. And Marshawn Lattimore is always following the best wide receiver, so I give Marshawn Lattimore a lot of credit dealing with um, what he's got to deal with over in New Orleans. Uh, I do still respect him as one of the top corners in the NFL. Here at four, another young name, this guy's second year in the league, A.J. Terrell. And a lot of people might not know about A.J. because he's on the Falcons defense. Yes, somebody on the Falcons defense can actually play defense. We know the Falcons are one of the worst teams in the NFL this year, but if you look at Pro Football Focus, A.J. Terrell's cover grade was lights out, locking down at least one half of the field. Um, it just so happened that the other half of the field, other half of the field would always get torched. Here at three, now look, this isn't offensive. I think this is one of the better defensive players on our rankings. But if we're just specifically ranking cornerbacks, I do have to put him at three this year based on the guys above him. I do have Jalen Ramsey at three. Now look, if I'm picking one guy to do the job, to cover somebody out of anybody in the league, Jalen Ramsey is going to be that one guy, especially if it's just for one game, even one play. But this year, I am going to say that there were two cornerbacks better than him. I hope Jalen Ramsey and the Los Angeles Rams, Aaron Donald, OBJ, get themselves a Super Bowl this year. Going to be interesting. I cannot wait to watch that one. At two, J.C. Jackson. Look, J.C. Jackson could arguably be one. This guy's going to go and get the bag this offseason. Is going to be the highest paid corner on the market. And that's a fact. Guys, the Patriots really should retain J.C. Jackson. They always have one good corner, Stephon Diggs, uh, Ellis Hobbs, Ty Law, um, even Darrell Revis. You know, going back to the Revis Island days. J.C. Jackson is going to get a job, a very high paid job. Um, and he should be respected as one of the best in the NFL. Here at one. Guys, the interception king of the year, Trayvon Diggs. Guys, what a year Trayvon Diggs had. 
We know the 11 interceptions. We know he's taken some of those back to the house. Um, but it didn't quite do enough of the job for the Dallas Cowboys. And I think what we also have to consider when it comes down to Trayvon Diggs is what he gave up as far as yards. And he gave up a lot. He got beat on a lot of double moves. He was happy, you know, trigger happy when he's seen a pump fake, something like that, always biting the route, going for the interception. Hopefully he can use that experience to be an even better cornerback next year. Um, going down the list again, Christian Fulton at 10, Eric Stokes at 9, Pat Sertain at 8, Xavier Howard here at 7, James Bradbury at 6, Marshawn Lattimore at 5, A.J. Terrell at 4, Jalen Ramsey at 3, J.C. Jackson at 2, and Trayvon Diggs here at 1. Guys, these are my 2021 top 10 best corners, the positional top 10 rankings. Next up, you guys are going to hear my linebackers for the positional top 10 rankings. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, follow, and five stars because we deserve nothing less. Go and stay tuned to our Meet the People series. New episode coming this week, and that'll just be on the podcast. Hope you guys like it. Hope you enjoy. Hope everybody had a good football weekend. Now let's get ready for the Super Bowl. For all things great iron and hard top, it's Kev Lewinsky since the sandbox.